Hi, citizens. This is Decoupled. I've often wondered, what's the 400 I good for? Turns out, running drugs. The Origin 400i has some of the best shielding and speed in its size category, along with unmatched utility in way of its interior and exterior design. While you can get away with doing this in just an undersuit and helmet, I strongly suggest good armor, a tractor beam, med pens, a tiger's claw if you plan to play aggressively, and a firearm. Though it may seem like a small payout at 6000 AUEC, the hidden power of this maintenance mission can give you the keys to every hidden drug lab in Stanton. Here is an example of a single sale from one of these mission stops. When departing on this mission, it's important to know that drug running can be competitive. There are some things we can do to limit our risk. Watching for other active ships, turning off engines on landing to reduce our profile and protect from wind, putting full power to shields, and never leaving the ramp open are all habits that can pay off. Once inside, move the mission boxes to the airlock. You can loot crates, but if your spider sense is tingling, inventory management can take time that isn't worth it. In that case, hit the terminal, buy whatever you can, toss your boxes in the bike hangar, and depart atmosphere. Elevators can be known to break when servers are suffering. In the 400i, this isn't a problem because you've got a ladder as well. Mission will complete as you leave atmosphere. That's it, 6,000 AUEC in the bank, hold full of drugs. Random tip, if there's any wrecks near where you're picking up drugs, check them out, they might have something left in them. If you come upon a hostile player in the 400i, your best option is to run. If it's an NPC, dispatch them before landing. You don't want to be inside trying to sell when they notice you. Here I'm using the AD4B, which has the highest DPS in the size 4 category, but gimbaled laser repeaters are fine too. Even though your heads up display will pick up hostiles, it's worth it to scan as well. This is Brio's Breaker Yard on Daymar, one of the places nearest Crusader to sell. There are other places, both space stations and surface locations, and some are less popular than others. Microtech and Arc Corp both offer similar missions and landing spots, but my home is in Crusader. Here's that broken elevator again. Luckily, I'm in the 400i. It's unnecessary, but sometimes nice to throw out the trash that you accumulated from doing a couple of missions. You can also do it at the next stop, but it can be fun to get out in the black. Just remember to wear your helmet. Dan was right. And yes, that's the expanse playing in the background. It can be nice to have something on. Here's some extra tips that might help you out, starting with spline jumping. Sometimes you won't get a direct quantum beacon to your target. With our mission marker up, we can align with a target beyond our marker, begin a spline jump, and press U to power down our ship in a way that stops us directly over our mission more close enough. Even if it's not perfect, it can shave minutes off our trip. It can take some practice, but you'll get the hang of it.
There are other cargo options like the Spirits you see here, but I found them to not be worth it. If you want to run standard cargo, larger ships like the Hercules C2 are the better option. The 400i is also great for bunker runs. Unlike smaller ships, you can pile bodies onto the cargo ramp and depart before taking the time to loot them all. If you didn't know this, bunker missions under Mercenary Tab to protect security sites will also allow you to land and enter without having to deal with the turrets. Just watch the timer once the mission completes. Delivery missions are as easy as the maintenance missions, and even if they don't lead you to sweet drug labs, it can be a nice change of pace. One thing many don't consider about this bike ramp is that if you're transporting a suspicious player from a beacon, you can get them to the interior of your ship without risking them putting a bullet in your head while you're in the pilot seat. This makes it better for live capture than the Hawk and similar bounty ships with future plans not yet in game. While it has bigger guns than the 400i, the Drake Corsair has continued gear issues that make it a pain in the ass to land. It's much slower, especially in atmosphere. If it's what you've got, it'll do the job, but part of why I'm sharing this clip is because when you're selling drugs, the terminals can be glitchy. Here I sell some ETAM, and my cargo goes away. You can remedy this by running away from the terminal and reopening it. you'll lose your cargo claiming it. I once lost a carrick full of refined quantanium over Arc Corp, and I'm glad 30k protection exists now. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll respond. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, and good luck.